The Honourable Member for Elmwood Transcona. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. You know, in the debate between the Conservative leader and the Liberal Finance Minister, we hear a lot about public spending and inflation, but what neither of them will say is the role of outsized price increases and record corporate profits have been playing in driving inflation for Canadian households. Canadians know it. They're the ones paying the bill. And the number one stressor for them now, keeping them at night, is their financial position. The Agricultural Committee here has finally recognized that New Democrats were right to call for a windfall profit tax on those very same corporations. Now that we have a multi-partisan recommendation to implement a windfall tax on giant grocery companies, will the Liberals finally do it? Let's go. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Colleague for, for his question, and, and I wish he would have spoken to, uh, to some of his members. What the recommendation said is that politicians should be deciding what is a reasonable profit, but the Competition Bureau should be looking at that. And if the recommendation talked about, if the Competition Bureau decides that yes, there was excess profits, then perhaps we, the recommendation would look at uh, implementing windfall tax. But politicians should be deciding that. The Competition Bureau, there's a process in place, and they're looking at that.